Welcome back to daytime, everyone. Sometimes you just want to treat yourself to something sweet and delicious. Joining us in the kitchen is Christina Rice, a chef and food stylist with some delectable baklava cookies. Mm -hmm. I've <laughs> only had baklava. I've never had them in a cookie form. How do you do this? Well, you know what? A lot of people have had baklava. Baklava is delicious, but sometimes it's a little too rich. Yes. And the wedding cookies, a lot of people know the wedding cookies that are buttery. Mm. It's covered with a little powdered sugar, and sometimes it needs a little something, something. So what? Little, oh. It needs a little something. So what we did is we crammed them together a and made marriage. a baklava <laughs> cookie. And, uh, and honestly, it's so easy to make. You, If you have your favorite favorite butter recipe cookie for a butter cookie, mm -hmm. make that. The only difference I do is I sift the ingredients together. So you sift the flour, you sift the sugar, but you're using all natural ingredients. Your flour, your pistachios, some almonds. I use Greek honey or orange blossom honey. I find the orange blossom honey is so much better than clover honey. It doesn't huh. have so such a strong flavor to it. And rose water. And rose water. Tell us this about is that. this is the little magic that I do put inside the mixture. Okay. We have rose water is a distilled water that they have the rose petals in there and then they make it nice and clean and it just makes a nice floral aromatic flavor mm. and scent. Mm. So anyway, you make some cookie dough and that's what you have here. If you don't want to make the cookie dough, get some refrigerator sugar cookie dough. Mm -hmm. It works the same All way. Right. That's simple. Here is the magic that goes inside. I use fresh almonds and pistachios. You can buy them whole, already shelled. That's why I like baklava so much. It's just wonderful. All the Some nuts. people like the walnuts. I don't. I particularly like almonds and pistachios. It's personal preference, but I like to uh, grind it myself because it makes it more aromatic. Mm. Instead of buying it in the grocery store already chopped, gotcha. go ahead and do it yourself. So we've got some pistachios, we've got some chopped almonds, Yum. which is already yummy and delicious. We've got some brown sugar here, and that's right here. All right, and good, then good, what good. I do, okay, my official measurement is a cap full of rose water. That's it. It doesn't need to be more, but it certainly doesn't need to be less, and it doesn't matter how much you're making, that's all you need. A little pack of punch. <laughs> a little dab will do you. And then your favorite, favorite honey, mm. I particularly like orange blossom honey orange blossom remember orange blossom orange blossom you can get orange blossom honey anywhere you get honey at the grocery store so nature's sugar nature's sugar you know it's just wonderful it's fantastic for you mm. it you can get organic you get to monitor how much you want basically all i do is i tighten this up just so that you have a paste so what you're going for is, is this that Okay, this is what you're going for. It's nice, it's a paste, it's, it's thick. easy, it's thick. All right, good. Now, not too gooey. Not too gooey, but then you have to try and keep your children's fingers out of it, and that's, that's the problem. <laughs> good luck. Now here I've got a cookie press. What this is, is basically, it's just a wooden paddle. Mm -hmm. Let's put some flour sure in there. Sure thing. And we're gonna put some cookie dough in here. I Grab can't one say I've ever used a cookie press. That's okay. It's a different way, it's not the kind with the with the batteries or anything like that. And then you take a little bit of this. Oh. Put some inside. Put the baklava mixture in the get middle. friendly with your family. Oh, look at that. You mash it all together. So you marry the, the curiambiedas, which is the sugar cookie dough. Mm -hmm. Bang it out. There you go. Yours looks a lot better than mine. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm gonna <laughs> come over here. I'm gonna go on this side. And here is what you have out of the oven. How come this mine doesn't even have a design on it? <laughs> Hold Mash on. it in there. Okay, Don't be scared. Pushing. And then all there we go. There. You put some powdered sugar like this mm -hmm. just to make it beautiful. Look at and that. And then when you cut it in half, <gasps> gooey goodness. This is what you're talking about. Oh, I love it. Delicious okay. cookies. Okay. Buttery, delicious. Christina Rice. Taste it. I will take it. I know. Oh, and you, you know what out. else? Mm. Is daytime. The sugar. Yes. The sugar is the evidence that your kids got into the cookies. You're right about that. <laughs> <laughs> DaytimeOnline.tv for this amazing recipe. Christina Rice, thank you very, very You're much. You're welcome. Mm. On the next Daytime, our movie man Sam Hallenbeck sits down with Sir Anthony Hopkins, and we have a performance by the band Selby, so you'll want to tune in for that. Mm, I have can't a, wait. Have a great day, everyone. We're going to enjoy our baklava cookies as we <laughs> listen to the music and do a little dance. Yeah. See you next time. Bye-bye.